Hello and welcome again. My name is McDonald's Guy. This is my addiction was 101. So we're playing and we are going to go to Wisteria. A new a new world that I I myself haven't been to. So we're gonna take a little break from trying to save the spiral from Malister's Malister's evil clutches to see what we can do. But before we get started, I got at least two quests to turn in. At least two. One is the uh, life tree. Two is this one right here. Ah, the Cyclops monocle for Marla's report. It's too bad some of the information in her report was incorrect. She mentioned Grub, which is a myth. I, of all people, know it's a myth. She gets a C. This conversation is over. Well, that's just rude. the live tree Ivan or no that's not the live tree this is the live tree good day to you young wizard what can I do for you a seed Farley sent you a most unusual request but I should be able to help you a plant's journey of life begins with it as a seed. There are many types of seeds, each with a different destiny. With enough energy, you can prepare soil of your choice in your castle, if you have one, or a planter in your dorm. Then, you can place the seed into the readied soil. After a time, it will begin to grow. You can shepherd its growth through spells and other means of caring for it, creating an environment for it to thrive. I will give you a seed. Take it back to Farley. He will tell you more. Okay. It's a dandelion. Just an actual standard dandelion. And we've got plenty of seeds. Okay. Uh... Let's uh, head on. Let's head on now. Alrighty. Wisteria. Oh. I like this fan art. interesting they add a little top to it where are we we're at a school aren't we hello there you must be our visiting wizard welcome to pigswick academy i'll need to see your ravenwood ring just a formality of course you show Mrs. Dowage the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then speak to Benedict Glendemming. He is both master of arms and our judge. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So, be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round, return to me and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting! Now that's a lot of experience. Holy crap. 
Okay. Alright. Yeah, Westeria is a new world I have not been to, guys. Wait, hold up. Can I collect you? Can I collect you? I would like to collect you and add you to my furniture. No. I cannot collect you. That would be rude. Hmm. I want to explore. <gasps> you. Wow. Hold on. I want to explore this area. I also want to get. Uh, I'm going for the XP. You inspect the Spiral Cup, the greatest prize in all the Spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. Okay. Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Clem Deming, Master of Arms of Pigsvik Academy. Awesome. For years, I have taught magic and dueling. With my training, Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. Gotcha. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the Chamber of the Basilisk, if you will, and defeat Blaze Flamerender. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? Okay... <laughs> I like that picture. Alrighty. Malister. My, my. You're still ugly. Is that, that's Merle Ambrose when he was younger. Um, we haven't met any of the Mushu characters yet, like the pig. Like these pigs here we haven't met. We haven't met... The, uh, we haven't met the dog and Marley Bone yet. That must be the dual master Diego. Okay, where are we going? Oh, okay, we're going to go this way. Well, well, well. A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on ya. You'll go easy on me. Watch out, wizard. Pigswick folk are cheaters. They'll break the rules whenever they can get away with it. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. You wanna try to cheat me, are you? I know how this I know how this is gonna work out. Hmm. Both guidance right now. Oh. Oh. Oh go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. No. Hmm. Wanna use some celestial magic on me? Hmm? You wanna You want you want you really wanna do this? Very well. Very well indeed, my brother. Alright. 
All right. You attack me with the leprechaun. But you, you will not be going easy on me because I will not go easy on you at all. First contact with you. I want to do it again. You want to use that negative uh, 15? Yeah, guess what? I got a fire shield. It won't do much damage. Alrighty. Piercing's going to break through that, buddy. the heck count on you now Go ahead. Oh boy. Choke, and I'll pass this turn. Oh, you're going to annoy me with that, aren't you? That's quite all right because you haven't demonstrated what you can do yet, other than except for the fire shark. Sun, oh, and the fire cat. You haven't really shown like cheating, except for celestial magic you got going on for yourself. Hmm. But you're still going to die. Wow! Go and tell Master Glenn Dammit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. Yeah, but you didn't do much cheating. I'm so confused. I am so confused. I am so confused right now. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. 
See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Okay. Let's get another level up. Good for you. It's been so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given up teaching magic there. Now that we've determined you'll be staying to compete in the tournament, it's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. There you can meet the students you will be matched against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doomstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. You should also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's a small dresser. It should be safe there. Again. Excellent job. Your training has opened up a new spell that I can now teach you. Come see me when you can. You got it. Later. They still have the wizard one on one loading screen like that before you travel home. That's awesome. But I'm definitely going to go to you. When the teacher calls. I will answer the call. Not only do I get that spell, I also get a life spell as well. came for the centaur okay pixie you've done your job now it's time to get out of my deck Let's see, let's get rid of the choke, because I don't really use it. Okay, we'll add one more centaur, and the pixie. That way I have six cards able to heal. But this will change over time. It will change after, like, I get the, uh, after I get this wildfire. So once I get this wildfire, then I'm gonna, it, then I'm gonna rearrange my deck again. Came for the card. Train me. Sweet. Well, let's see. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of 
one sunbird. Uh, to be honest, I'd, let's get rid of that. For wild fire. So mm. that's one Okay. Catch you later. Okay, this is the third time they've told me to put away my class ring. That's like it's going to get stolen or something. Then I'm going to get expelled. Okay. Oh. Wait, is there... Are there shops here? Can I... There are, in fact, shops. But there are no... No decks. Ugh! But there is a wand shop here. So. Okay, what... what it's like further on down this road, though. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me look up. Okay. There's the wardrobe shops. Where's the wand shops? You can buy your shoes. Okay, let's see what's in here. <clears throat> I cannot believe I can come to this new Westeria world that I've never been to before. Okay. 